Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. This your boy, Tail Biz. All right, so check this out. Um, everybody is talking about what happened with the senator and basically him making his remarks uh, towards, you know, black people and reparations. I'll, I'll get to that later, but I want to talk about something that's in the same, you know, basically something uh, on the same guidelines in which, you know, they went and got a quote or, you know, this person decided to issue a quote on his opinion when it comes to reparations. And I just want to tell the clear people, if you think you're going to use Jason Whitlock as your talking point, oh, well, you know, Jason Whitlock, see, here's the thing that I need to make very clear to you clear people, your little display Negroes, your Negro puppets, we don't care what they think. That's not going to deter us from axing and getting what we deserve and what we should have already had in the first place. Okay, so just stop it. But anyway, everybody's uh, favorite cone, you know, Jason Whitlock says that he is an old reparations and uh, actually he owes America and all this kind of stuff. You know, keep in mind that we built America. Okay, black people. them but you know at the end of the day Jason Whitlock has a deep-seated hatred for his blackness and him being black but I crack up at the fact that you have some some white motherfucker or some cold every once in a while coming on here saying oh so you don't like him just because he has a difference of opinion like you trying to lecture me first first of all I don't care what you guys think so you can take your because I'm white and I say so mentality or it's because a white person said it and get your ass to fuck up off my channel. That don't work with me because at the end of the day, I don't value your opinion. I don't care what you think. I've never cared what you think and I will never care what you think when it comes to me and my people, bettering my people. See, I'm not one of these black dudes that you may feel ashamed that want to specifically help black people. But once again, you got black people that fall for it. That's made to feel guilty about wanting to help other black people prosper and, and succeed. Not me. Not me. You got the wrong one. So you could say, well, Jason Whitlock said, I don't care what Jason Whitlock said. And I don't care what any other coon or coonhead have to say. I don't care what Candace Owens thinks. If they got a ticket to ride this train, then I'm not worried about it. All aboard on the reparations and bettering black people train. Stay on the Coon Express. I don't care. That's just real talk. But you know, Jason Whitlock, that's what he does. And somebody pointed this out to me too. It's amazing when Jason Whitlock talks about black people. He talks as if he isn't one himself. Like he tries to differentiate the fact that he's black. It's really funny. If Jason Whitlock was any other skin color but black, he would be considered a racist. Because all he does is express his hatred and vitriol and disdain for black people. And I think that's crazy. And to a certain degree, I think that's borderline psychotic. And for the people that'll come, well, I agree with certain stuff Jason Whitlock says. Well, here's the thing. I don't agree with 99% of anything Jason Whitlock says. Just because every once in a while he may say something that makes sense. But how many other times have he spoke out against black people and attacked black people? He wakes up in the morning and attacks black people. That's just real talk. Here's the thing when it comes to that. Well, I agree with certain stuff. Listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. Jason Whitlock is an enemy to the black community. And that, you know what I'm saying? 
And what I, and that's another thing that made me start to see the midget's true colors. When he was hell bent on interviewing that dude and trying to bring him on his show. That's when I knew he was a fraud. But you know, nevertheless, let's just keep let's just keep it a buck. How many times have you seen Jason Whitlock anytime something has happened? He's tried to make it black people's fault. No matter what the situation could be, is, he'll try to make it black people's fault. So Grimace has a history of doing that. So it's like this. Let's break it down about Jason Whitlock. If you go to the gym, and I'm gonna make it as simple, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna make this as transparent as possible. If you go to the gym, and let's say you doing a, a shoot around, you just taking, you know, you just shooting around, and you just say, you know what, I'ma shoot 43 pointers, and let's see how many I make. Well, here's the thing, if you shoot 43 pointers, and you make only three of them, what does that mean? You didn't shoot the ball very well, okay? So basically out of all the times Jason Whitlock may say something that makes sense and it may look like, okay, finally he may, you know, he may be looking like he about to make a turnaround. No. Most of the time, in all likelihood, he's gonna go against the grain. And that's what I mean. His shoot percentage, as far as, you know what I'm saying, being on code, or at least understanding, looking at it from a black perspective and being black himself, he doesn't have a good shoot percentage. So therefore, I'm not gonna sit up there and give props to a dude who most of the time doesn't have a good shoot percentage. And if you don't have a good shoot percentage, or if you don't have a good quarterback rating, that means you're not a good quarterback. That's just fact. Okay? Just, just fact. Like I said, I'm very weary and suspicious of people that try to defend Jason Whitlock. Now, if you white or non-black did, that would be textbook, that would be tip typical. Because, of course you would. Because you think like him. So like I said before, I'm just keeping it a buck. I don't give a damn what you think. Um, as far as Jason Whitlock and his recent comments about reparations, well, like I said, this is typical. I'll say this much to Fat Boy. If you don't want it, I'll take yours. Sign it away. But here's the thing. I bet you if Jason Whitlock get a check, I bet you he ain't gonna send that shit back. So he just need to shut his fat ass up and stop like fronting. But then again, his whole existence is on front. I, I mean, for real, if you really listen to this dude, how he talks, you would, I swear to God, if you wouldn't, wouldn't know what he looks like, you would think this is a white person. So yeah, Jason, if you don't want your reparations, that's fine. But you ain't finna speak for me. You ain't finna speak for other black people. And to declare people, once again, we don't care what you think. If you think you finna use him as a proxy, not to give it, not to give it to us, then we already know it's gonna be pushed back, but we gonna fight for it. Cut the motherfucking check, bitch. You gotta fight on your hands. And that's just real talk. It don't matter how many display Negroes you throw in front of us. We just gonna plow their ass down. Real talk. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.